Hey, so this is day two in our 25 day seasonal series and I'm already behind on these videos, I know. It's December 8th and we're only on video two, which means we're gonna have multiple videos coming out here shortly. Um, yeah, so today's video is gonna be work, life, balance, and engineering. And this is perfect for the time period because it's finals time and I'm even more behind on my finals right now. I just picked a quick room to come in while uh, <laughs> in between studying. So real quick, work-life balance. I'm gonna break this off into two sections. The first one is gonna be comparing engineering to other majors. If you think that your work-life balance in, as an engineering student is gonna be the same as someone's, someone's work-life balance who's non-STEM, science, technology, engineering, math, you're wrong. Like people who are just in the business school, who are in marketing, who are in uh, agriculture, anything other than one of the STEM majors, they're naturally just gonna have more time on their hands to do whatever they want. And why is that? Just the course load isn't as heavy. Not all degrees are created equal. I know some people are gonna find that controversial, but they're not. Um, it takes more time. There's a higher skill cap on a lot of engineering classes and science classes. And just, frankly, it just, it just takes longer to learn. It's harder. It's just naturally, even if you're a good and you're a whiz kid at math or whatever, it's just gonna take more time, it's harder. They challenge you, they give you more homework, they give you more group projects. So, what tends to happen, right? What tends to happen is, you start to form friendships with people who are in your engineering classes, because you're also gonna have like the same friends in your same classes for the next four or five years. So, looking at work-life balance from this new perspective that your friends aren't gonna be maybe the friends that you have now, right? but they're gonna be friends who are taking the same classes as you, that actually makes this work-life balance equation easier. So it actually benefits you more if you're, to, if you're open and willing to making new friends and new relationships and different stuff going on with people who you have classes with. And that's naturally gonna happen as well because you're gonna be put into groups, you're gonna be asked to do group projects, whatever, so you're naturally gonna to gravitate towards them. If you try to force it and try to be friends with not be friends, but try to continually hang out with the people who you always hang out with and they're not in engineering or any science class or anything like that, it's gonna be harder. Their life is gonna look a little different from yours and they're not gonna be able to relate or understand uh, all these projects you have going on that you're talking about and all these courses and they're gonna be going to live in their life the same they always do, although you're gonna to need to change it a little. So that's my first thing. Now comparing, not comparing, just talking about general work-life balance. I always like this like mentality of looking at the world and it's and it's, I forget where I read it, but the general idea of it goes, there's three categories, work, sleep, and social life. And at any time, you have to pick two of the three. So you gotta either have to pick sleep and work, or sleep and social, or work and social, but that's not really sustainable. So the, the, the idea here is, and I don't really like believe like that's always the case, but the idea is it gets me into a mental state that there are priorities, there are things that have to take priority over other things. Like my life, it's not easy, but you have to, you have to choose things that are, that are gonna be rank one, rank two, rank three, rank four, whether it's going to that party versus exams, versus exams, you know, people rank it differently. Um, but that just tends to be what happens. And whenever you're in the School of Engineering, like I said, it's a heavier course load. So you're gonna have to be more strict with your priorities. This doesn't mean that you can't just, you can't do anything with your life, guys. Like I know, I know people who come into engineering and their life seems completely on par and they're getting A's and B's in all their classes and they still have time to do whatever they want. But I also know engineers who 24 seven say they don't have time to do anything and say that they're studying but still are getting bad grades. Like this is just the general formula for life and it happens to everyone. Like there are gonna be people in all these different categories. It just depends on how you do it. My one tip for the work-life balance video for this video it would be to say that make sure your life looks more like this and less like this and the only reason why i say that is because so many times in school now i've like like right now at finals time i didn't do my best in all these classes during the semester i didn't do this during the semester i didn't do slow consistent progressive studying i did a lot of this i did a lot of cram for the exam don't study it all the next week. Cram for the exam, don't study it all the next week. And that's a horrible way of going about doing it. It's horrible for, anytime you see a graph that looks like this in anything in life, stocks, whatever, that's usually a bad sign. And it's usually, you want this general trending, like slowly progressive straight line that's moving. 
And I'd say it's the same thing with studying. You want to consistently be balanced in your studying and social life. And even when final exams come, I have some friends right now during final exams who aren't studying barely at all, who are just studying a little more than what they used to. But for me right now, I'm in the opposite boat and I'm studying like heavy, heavy, heavy right now because I'm making up for some crap that I did before. So that would be my piece of advice in work-life balance. I promise I'm going to start putting these videos up a little more consecutively, a lot more consecutively. This channel is going to come in live in December gonna come alive in January. So be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Brother, I'm gonna burn this gasoline and set it on fire, 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 fire. Hope someone sees it, bless me.